I'm Tree, and this is Project Transparency. Greetings. I'm Gnome. I'm an electronic musician, um, otherwise known as Crinoline Vortex, and I will be pro providing um, musical background for Project Transparency. So that was Gnome and Abby saying hello and giving you information about themselves a little bit. It just occurred to me that I shouldn't include Abby's greeting because she is a little, little bit, and I don't have her parents' permission, and that's probably illegal somewhere along the way, so no Abby video for you. And that 10 seconds of hands you're seeing is artist Adam. Um, his last name is Fuller, I think, or Fuller or something like that. Uh, he's another studio artist at the Art Garage where I'm a studio artist. Um, and he's a baby. I mean, totally a baby. He's like 20, 21. He's little, little. I've known him since he was like 17. It's kind of weird, right? Um, for some reason, there weren't as many artists at gallery night as I expected there to be. I want to point out that this is my emo buddy hat, which is named after my friend Dijoni, who draws these amazing little panda bears that say, uh, Are you emo? Do you need a buddy? Buddy? Batman and the Flying Monkey will save the day. Okay, if you haven't guessed from the nature of this video being all over the place, I don't know what to talk about today. Gallery night was disappointing and was generally just not fun. <laughs> and note to self, you need to remember to paint those bags for Ron and Linda. Mm -hmm. I did, however, get some work done. Mind you, it was kind of a dud. Uh, the idea I had didn't work on the material I was using, so I spent a whole lot of time working on something that isn't going to pan out in the way I intended to, so I get to redo the thing. I'm still trying to figure out what to print for Definitely to Peer, which the first one is next month, and oh my god, I need to call the people and talk to them. Ugh. Me calling and talking to people on the phone is a big mistake. I don't want to. Why do I have to do the thing? But if you have any opinions on what I should print for Definitely to Peer, which is basically an art walk, so yay, tourists and people who are going to go conceptual art, what is conceptual art? Um, I'm going to put some links in the drawer and leave me your, like, top five things in comments that you would want to see printed on, like, a nice, slick postcard so that you can take a little bit of art home with you since my stuff is generally really expensive, which is a problem, but, you know, you have to make back the time and money somehow. Seriously, spinning and metalworking and printmaking and pretty much all the arts that artists you know, practice, are time-consuming, like, whoa. And expensive. Don't forget expensive. Oh my god, art supplies are the worst thing to try and buy, ever. <laughs> Don't forget to like subscribe, and share. The majestic and ethereal glowing of the cat of the house being beautiful and lovely.